What does the Pentagon have in common with China, North Korea, and the Church of Scientology? Well, they all feel threatened by a popular whistleblowing website that specializes in leaking top secret documents. WikiLeaks.org aims to expose corruption by publishing information many governments and orga organizations want kept secret. But is the U.S. spying on this tiny secret sharing site and intimidating its editors? RT producer Lucy Kafanov has been researching this story. Lucy, I know that there's been some generating interest about WikiLeaks.org, but I want you to break down exactly what this is, what it does, and why the Pentagon sort of has some lights flashing here. Right. Well, WikiLeaks is essentially a safe harbor for uh, whistleblowers ac across the world. Anyone from anywhere can post any sort of document. Um, often these are top secret leaked documents that reveal uh, information that corporations and governments may not want you to see. Um, with guaranteed anonymity. And, I mean, since its inception in 2007, it's been said that WikiLeaks has actually produced more scoops than, say, the Washington Post in the past 30 years. So it's been fairly, fairly successful. Um, it's come into uh, prominence over things like publishing uh, leaked emails for Sarah Palin's uh, personal email account. Um, she was the Republican uh, 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 vice presidential candidate in 2008, um, including other sensitive information, such as the so-called uh, Guantanamo Bay torture manual. So, as you can imagine, it hasn't really won a lot of friends in high places, especially when it comes to the Pentagon. Now, WikiLeaks came into the news last week because they actually published a secret report from the U.S. military that identified WikiLeaks as a target by the military. Um, it said that the U.S. government was targeting WikiLeaks, that they wanted to shut down the site, they thought they saw it as a national security threat, and they actually wanted to launch a campaign to expose anyone that leaked to the website. Now, the the story took a darker and much more disturbing turn this week where we saw the WikiLeaks Twitter feed. Um, there are a lot of very disturbing messages that were posted on their Twitter account saying that uh, WikiLeaks volunteers and editors were actually followed by U.S. officials. Um, one of the volunteers was detained, his computer was seized, another one was interrogated. Um, so very, very disturbing stuff. And let's talk about some of those um, Twitter messages that you speak of. I mean, it's particularly one uh, about something that they're planning to do in the future. Talk a little bit about this. Right. The, the, one of the more disturbing ones said, if anything happens to us, you know why. It's our April 5 film, and you know who's responsible. Um, now, I've exchanged emails today with one of the WikiLeaks co-founders, and he thinks that this uh, intimidation campaign that, that has been launched against them has to do with a film that WikiLeaks is planning to release on April 5th. Um, I've called the National Press Club. They said that WikiLeaks had, in fact, uh, promised to do a press conference there. And the movie allegedly um, shows footage that uh, reveals a massive Pentagon uh, murder cover-up. Big stuff. Um, what we think this has to do with is a video um, from 2009 in Afghanistan. Basically, uh, if you recall the news during that time period, there were some massive uh, bombing campaigns in the Farah province where hundreds, more than 100 civilians were killed. I want to stop you right there. Um, we're, we're looking at some of those Twitter feeds right now, some of the quotes from them. Two under State uh, Department diplomatic cover followed our editors from Iceland. Lucy had mentioned that. Um, a couple different ones. Um, and they are. Here's another one. We have airline records of the State Department CIA tales. You think you can get away with it. You cannot. This is WikiLeaks. Right, right. Massive, um, according to WikiLeaks, massive government campaign to stop this information from getting out, this video that's in question. And so, uh, allegedly, according to WikiLeaks, this video um, was an encrypted video that the Pentagon had actually promised to show as a way of uh, deflecting a lot of the international attention, negative attention that the U.S. Um, was essentially placed under after this massive bombing campaign in Afghanistan where civilians were killed. Uh, in fact, General Petraeus spoke with uh, reporters about this uh, video, uh, saying that he was going to promise to release it. I think we have that audio bite for you guys right here. There is indeed video from a B-1 bomber that very clearly shows uh, bombs hitting individuals who are the Taliban. Are you going to release the video itself? Uh, we won't give it to you, but I believe that we will show it as part of the uh, press briefing. So, Lucy, here we have General Petraeus saying that, we, you know, it's going to be shown, and yet it hasn't been yet. So what, 
what's going on here? Right. Well, that's that's what this video is supposed to be all about. I mean, the Pentagon promised to release it. They stalled. They stalled. And finally, they said, you know what? We're not going to be putting this information out there. And some folks say that this is because it actually reveals that the Pentagon had not only ignored the fact that there were women and children on the ground, but essentially targeted innocent civilians. Um, it was an encrypted video that WikiLeaks said it hacked, uh, or I guess un cracked the encryption code back in January. And so they were supposed to show it at this press conference in April. The only shocking or, I guess, confusing thing about this is why April 5th? I mean, WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks has been known to, as soon as they get something, to basically post it. Exactly. So exactly. I'm curious. I mean, do you have any thoughts on this? Why? You know, I don't know. I mean, maybe they're trying to ramp up media attention for it. But again, I mean, that sort of you know goes against everything that WikiLeaks stands for, which is this unfiltered uh, public access to information as soon as they get it. Really quickly, so we only have a couple seconds left. Um, just to play devil's advocate, I mean, this is some really sensitive stuff that is being posted on, on WikiLeaks. Isn't this, uh, couldn't it at least be seen as a really big threat to national security? I mean, I can understand why the uh, governments might see it that way, but at the same time, as a journalist and as an American citizen, you know, it's the new form of democratic uh, uh, journalism, essentially. I mean, you know, the government no longer can stop information from getting out just because it wants to, like it could back in the days when, you know, newspapers and news organizations were the only leakers. Um, this is the a prime example of uh, democracy working its way, where anyone from anywhere can reveal information that they think the citizens should have access to. All right, RT producer Lu Lucy Kavanaugh doing a lot of good research for us here on WikiLeaks. Thank you, search for us.